Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I'm here at Schuylkill County and I'm in the search for uh, wild browns and native brooks. And today I'm actually fishing the same creek I did on the first day, but I walked way downstream, uh, over a mile at least. And I'm gonna work my way up because water conditions are very clear right now, so you can spook them easy. Uh, they're high, but it's the water's really clear. And we're going simple, just worms and maybe a spinner or two. Uh, and I'm gonna work my way up past the bridge that I first started out in the first video. And maybe I'll even go above there, I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've moved upstream maybe half the way to the bridge and I have not caught a single thing. And I've discovered a horrific, uh, a horrific thing that just happened and all the fish are dying in the water. Like I have seen maybe, uh, it's gotta be over a hundred now and at least a hundred fish I've seen dead. Uh, brown trout, brook trout, carp, suckers, everything. And I have not gotten a single bite. I've seen a couple of live ones and I've seen a couple like in the process of dying. So I'm gonna keep going upstream. I'm gonna see uh, where, if there's like a line on where this, cause it's obviously a water contamination. Nothing's eating them. Like there's no birds or anything plucking at them. They're all just, floating in the water like this, like just in the spot alone, I could see them floating down the creek. And I'm gonna get a bottle of water, uh, give it to the owner, he's gonna get it tested. I'm gonna see where if there's a line where it stops on killing the fish, cause he obviously put his own in there. And I'm gonna go up there and see if they're still alive. So I'll keep you guys updated. Rinse that out a bit. Don't want lifting tea in part of the sample. Sample. Well, this is uh, beyond depressing. Right here is a really big wild brown trout. Uh, I'm almost at the bridge right now. I'm basically I'm basically there, and that's all I'm seeing. It seems to mostly be affecting the brown trout and the. Uh, the carp and the sucker fish. All right, so I just got done talking to the owner's son. I gave him their water sample. It's a little windy right here, so I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. Uh, anyway, gave them their water sample. They threw in that one pool, there's a bunch of them. They feed them every once in a while. And when they threw food in there, it was absolutely nothing. I tried fishing it, didn't catch anything. I didn't see much dead over there, but I think they're just on the verge of dying. So they called the game commission, the DEP, and they're gonna get an agent down here to check it out. I'm gonna go up the one tributary that flows into here. And I don't know how much fishing I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna look around and see if there's any dead fish at all. Because if there's dead fish in that tributary, then it's much bigger than just the creek. It's the whole area that's 
contaminated or polluted or I don't know. So I'll find out more information and I'm going to get a sample of that water as well. So we'll see what happens. Not sure what kind of turtle this is. It's pretty neat looking though. He's really orange. I don't know. It's a female, or actually a male, not a female. Not. Not sure what kind of turtle that is. He's hissing. Uh, you can tell it's a male because this is con uh, concave the shell in the middle. Uh, that's how they are able to get on top of a female to mate. That's that's like the only way you can tell. At least the only way I can tell. He's kind of mean looking though. Definitely wouldn't want to get bit by him. It almost looks like a painted turtle, but they're typically brighter. They don't have like these uh, scoots like this. So I don't know. I don't even think it's an aquatic turtle, but it's all in the water. So maybe he is. Let's find out. Nope. Yeah, he's semi-aquatic. He's pretty neat looking. Oh, he's getting stuck on some branches. Oh, he's he's having a he's having a hard time right there. There he goes. That was pretty cool. Okay, so right here's the regular creek. And then up there is the little tributary. It's actually a class A on the on the website it's a class a stream so for wild trout and it should it should have fish in it um so we'll find out right now all right well there is a silver lining today caught a a nice little native brookie caught him in this really small pool right here uh so that's a good sign it's a good sign that there's no contamination in here the only fish I caught today was this little guy. Put him, put him right back. So that's a good sign that the water's fine here. So it's just strictly the main branch. Um, I'm gonna go film a little bit of me fishing this creek because I've never fished it before. Uh, see how that turns out. And yeah, I'll give you guys an update. Oh, we got one. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a nice brookie. That is a nice brookie. Oh, let's go. Wow. I didn't think we'd get that one that big. What those hands. All right. Sure, I give you guys a good angle on how big this fish is. I think it's a male. Oh, his teeth are stuck on the net. Oh my gosh. Get off. <laughs> Alright. That's a... That's a big, big native brook. Put him right back. There he goes. I don't know if you can see that. That's a big brook trout. Alright, let's see if we can get another one. All right, as I was rigging up my line again, put another worm on, I just saw another fish jump. So we'll see if we get another one. It's hard to get multiple in the same spot. Ooh, I see that, and I have one. Oh, it came off. That was a nice one too. Might need a new worm. Might not fall for it again. Oh, <clears throat> we just, you definitely saw that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get in there. Yes. 
Another native rookie. Little hooks right there, nice and easy. Pop that out. Usually this is easy. There we go. <laughs> not a not a bad little guy. Pretty. Alright. They're really they're really jumping right now. Like this is prime time. Cast it straight up there and let it float down. Seems to be the method right now. Oh. Had a hit. Missed one. Got him. Oh, another big one. Another big one. Oh, this is a really big one. Oh, please be a brook. What is that? Oh, the big brown. Big wild brown. Big wild brown. Oh, this is awesome. This is a great little spot right here. So pretty too. Nice and open. Getting the idea on how big this wild brown is. It's bigger than that brook I caught. Doesn't get much, get much prettier than that. Today we started out really rough, but it's this is definitely a silver lining here. Might not even need to go up much further. They all seem to be right here. Another one. Another brookie. Really colorful too. Let's get him in there. Yes. Oh my gosh, I am getting so lucky with these hook sets. Every single one is just right on the edge of the lip. Right where you want it. Look at that. That's a really, it's a really nice brookie. Really colorful. Surely we can't catch another one. There's just no way. We got him? We still have him. Oh, he's jumping a lot. <laughs> I think it's another wild brown. I would be correct. All right. <sighs> Nothing too big on this guy, but still pretty nonetheless. Throw him in. He goes. I didn't realize how deep it was here. Oh, we got one. Oh my gosh, this is, this is teeny, teeny tiny, teeny tiny brown. Oh, pfft. fell out of the net again. Get that stick out of there. I'm surprised it doesn't fit through the holes of the net. Okay, so I didn't catch much more after that wild brown. Um, I ended up having to cut it short upstream because uh, the DEP agent showed up. So we went over uh, over all the dead fish and all the photos and videos I took of it and got them on the task of figuring out what's wrong with it. Uh, speculation that it's it's a, some kind of plant up, upstream, it's dumping something in the water. That... That seems like to be the only case that could possibly be. Um, they're going to let us know more information as it comes. And I'll let you guys know more in future videos. But unfortunately, I only got a little bit of actual fishing in this video. But I still thought I would upload it because it's pretty important to show things like that that happens when you fish. Um, unfortunately, this was like a much bigger issue. Like an entire ecosystem just collapsed. I, it happened overnight. I, I went fishing there and took that one video only a few weeks ago and everything was totally fine. And so to just see that entire ecosystem collapse in that quick of time is really heartbreaking. 
Uh, it could recover if they do fix the problem, but who knows if they can. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.